Hi, once again. Uh, I'm getting ready to do another uh, two abstracts on uh, paper. I am using Arches oil paper. And the size that I'm using is a 9 by 12. It's already uh, prepped for oil paint, so you don't have to gesso it. And uh, you can use watercolor paper, printmaking paper, whatever. But if you use that type of paper, you must gesso it first. The oil paper you don't because it's already ready for uh, oil paint. And I have taped it onto a piece of freezer paper, cut off the excess, and um, I drew in two 9 by 12 shapes and then I brought my tape right up to the uh, where I drew in so all I have to do is go and to the craft store and buy nine uh, 8 by 10 um, mats and it will fit exactly I don't have to cut them and what I have done is I have already put on uh, one coat of a green and it's a mixed green that I have uh, had that I've been using that what is made of various greens so it's just a mixture of many different greens and I put that on about a half an hour ago and it is tacky at, at this point not wet but tacky so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get some lines up uh, I am going to Use my oiler boiler leave it on and the oiler boiler again is something that I get from Amazon it's made by Gaunt and you can see that it has a needle it's the blue one brand is Gaunt, G-A-U-N-T. I get it from the uh, Amazon and it's made, uh, it's called an oiler boiler. What I have in it is gamma sol. Now you can put other solvents in it as well. You can put citrus solve in it, you can put orange terpene in it. Citrus solve and orange terpene is a little bit stronger than gamma sol. But right now I'm just using gamma sol, uh, which is an odorless solvent made by Gamblin. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that sit for about oh 45 seconds or so and then I'm just going to pull it with a bowl scraper. I'm out of paper towels so I'm using these horrible paper things that I got in the, in the restroom here. So I'm going to leave it on maybe for another 15 seconds or so and I can see it is working. And you can see right there where, where I just wiped it. I'm going to let it just a little bit longer. And then I'm going to put some other marks on it. A lot of times I'll start it with marks, but this time I, I decided to do it a little differently. Okay, I'm going to pull it. You can see the lines that worked on that. Be sure to wipe your uh, bowl scraper every time you pull it across. Now I am going to use um, an art crayon made by Marabou. It's called an art crayon Marabou and I'm using black. It comes in many different colors and you use it by turning the base. It's just like lipstick. It's very creamy. Now should I want this to set, it will um, set in 24 hours it'll become completely dry but I'm going to I'm going to mark this up now and uh, I'm gonna put cold wax on top of it with it not being set or dry and you can see how creamy it is
scribbling. Now I could use other colors as well. It comes in many different colors. Here's, here's actually a yellow one. It's more subtle than the black, as you can see on that green surface. But it comes in blues and reds and teals and pink and purple, greens. A little bit of gamasol right here in the middle and I want to pull that up. That is tape right there. And I think I'm going to go over almost the entire thing. And I'm going to put some black on it first with my palette knife. Some of that black will show, some of it won't. Not thinking. Just putting down paint. Just putting down paint. Smear it around a little bit. As with the uh, bowl script, you want to be constant. If you're going to be using a palette knife, you want to constantly be wiping it off. Now, I think I'm going to go into it with some white, and I'm going to use my bowl scraper. As you can see, I covered almost the whole thing up, and that's okay. got to be something really really quick and really really fast. I'm going to use just a tiny little bit of Indian yellow that I have mixed up. And this this yellow and the green and the black was from uh, my large landscape painting that uh, I did uh, about a week ago. I, it's still good. Why? Because I put saran wrap over it. You can put saran wrap over your um, cold wax and oil paint and it will keep probably for a week or more if, if you wrap it good. Okay, now I'm going to go into it with purple that I have mixed up. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to fuss over this at all. This is going to be one of these quickies. I wanted just a little bit of the yellow to show through and a little bit of the green to show through.
I like what I see. Think about putting a little bit more black in just to finish off the composition a little bit. This black is also from that last painting I did. like that. Do something with this over here. Just barely touching the paper, as you can see. happy with this right here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some paint off. Like so. And put some paint down. I need a bigger spot. I mean, almost all of my black spots are the same size. So I'm going to have to change that up a little bit. That's better. This I don't like right there. This is a little bit lighter purple than what's down, but it is dirty because I had black on my palette knife. I did not wipe it. That's what happens when you don't wipe. I'm going to scrape some of that off. Put something else down. Nope. Put some purple down again. Some lighter purple.
I need some smaller black because they're getting to be too much of the same size again. If you can see that or not. Okay. I just scraped into that and I like what happened there. That changed up that whole thing. Now, I need to make a, something small in black. These are small. Maybe this needs to be bigger. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut into that. These are ending almost at the same place, and these are almost ending at the same place. So this one I'm going to bring up just a little bit higher. And this one's going to go over just a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to scrape into this one like I did there. Like that. just a little bit lighter purple. A little bit more yellow, I think. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of teal into this. This is manganese blue hue. I think I'm going to make a little bit, make it much lighter. Here it is. And 
a little bit of Galcad gel. All of my paint, by the way, does have Galca gel into it. I put about 15% Galca gel into my oil and coal wax. That helps it to dry a little bit faster. So I'm thinking about putting a little bit of this into it. Where am I going to put it over here? Okay, I'm very happy with this. I'm gonna, I need some kind of, everything is straight, so I need something curvilinear in it. So I think, go like so. like so. Need something else over here. Okay, now I'm going to take the tape off, guys. I'm happy with it. that up just a little bit right in there and right there you know how I am about messing things up I don't ever want anyone to look at that and say well that's the last thing she did no it wasn't okay I'm gonna take my hands uh, take my tape off Let's see if I can I usually mess up my borders even though I try not to I usually do And this is what they look like and I will give you guys a photo and a slight close-up I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm going to put mats on them so you can see what they really will look like thanks so much guys I appreciate it please subscribe if you have it my subscriptions are really going down so if you can subscribe I would appreciate it okay here's the first one with the mat around it. And we will do the second one. With 
the mat around it. So I'm pleased with both of them. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate it.